In this tutorial, I'll show you how to change the transitions between your media clips. We're going to use image clips, but the techniques apply to all media types. If you drag multiple clips to the timeline, Movie Plus overlaps each clip by one second. I can change the duration of this overlap with the overlap control, either by increasing or decreasing the overlap time. When one clip joins into another, the point where they meet is called a transition. You can see the effect here. This transition is called a crossfade, as one clip fades into the other. You can also use the overlap control to change the transition on a single clip. The behaviour of the following clips depends on whether rippling is turned on or off. There are no hard fast rules to use in this control, so the best thing to do is experiment. Whenever you move a clip on the timeline, as soon as it moves over the top of another clip, the transition is automatically adjusted. Changing transitions is easy. Just select the transition, and then click Transition Gallery. You can click through the transitions and hover over the thumbnail to get a preview. Some transitions have more than one preset. When you find a transition that you like, select it and click OK. The transition is applied and can be seen in the video preview. You'll also find the same list of transitions in the Galleries pane. You can apply these quickly and easily to the start or end of a clip or onto an existing transition by using drag and drop. You can apply the default transition to the start or end of a clip by dragging the transition control. By default, this creates a fade in or fade out effect. For fine control, you can edit the properties of any selected transition in the properties pane. I'll adjust the duration of my transition and change the number of blinds it uses. You can see the effect of my changes in the video preview pane. That's all for this tutorial. You can find out more about using Movie Plus in our other online tutorials or in Movie Plus Help. Thanks for watching.